think we're back. Um, yeah, that's a good point as well, ODST. Um, I figure you would. Actually, yeah. Oh, I forgot. I was gonna exit to menu and get back in because my mouse is frozen or not responding. In game, it's responding everywhere else. Um, I think that yes, you would move around as the ship moved. Um, however, the way that you deal with that currently, uh, you can actually go to Chris Hadfield's uh, YouTube videos, and he describes how he sleeps in space, or how he did sleep when he was the commander of the ISS. Um, and yeah, I are fun, right? I do recognize that name because he's on my friends list. He was on the screen one day. That's what happened. Anyway, uh, yeah, as you are, when you're sleeping on the ISS, it does move and, I mean, they do sometimes adjustments that could make you move around. They just have you in a sleeping bag in a little room. Uh, the, the sleeping bag is attached to the top and bottom. So you're sleeping in zero gravity, but you're contained inside of this um, sleeping bag type contraption. It's also entertainingly not directly up and down, like there's no right side up obviously. So it's just sort of like a panel on what is sort of the floor, but it's not the floor because there's no real floor in the space station. At least not one without gravity. for help from attach this idea though. Maybe a modular uh, pod that can move into an area with no gravity or into an area with gravity, depending on what kind of maneuvers are going to be happening while you're asleep. Who knows? Oh, <laughs> I thought that, uh, that computer monitor was frozen, but I just wasn't watching it. That is true. In the game, they can do what they want. Although, I do appreciate how much they're sort of sticking to the laws of physics and... Uh, I mean, even talking about how they control their weapons in that it's not the... It's not where your character's face that the bullets are coming from, it's the actual weapon and the angle the weapon is pointed in that the ships are going to be... or that the... Why is this not letting me in? Come on, pals. Alright, I'll just manually walk in. Uh, it's... So, like, I don't know, I could see them... I mean, they're implementing beds in a game anyway. <laughs> that are never really going to be used except for immersion and realism. Or I guess roleplay. that are on, 
I guess that it's the same in ships. I wonder how they're. I wonder how they're gonna do that. Because the ones that are on planets and space stations and things like that, yeah, those those are like static. They're always gonna be their save points. But what's gonna happen to your ship when you save? Because it could just drift anywhere. If you crash into it and explode while you're asleep, what's gonna happen? to your character in that case, right? It's not like you can fly into a system where there's a war going on between your faction and enemy faction. Go into your ship's bedroom and fall asleep and log out and then an hour later, after the fight has moved on to a different area, log back in and be behind enemy lines, right? Let's die incredibly quickly to this uh, saber over here. I don't know, I'm very excited to see how they handle a lot of different elements of this game. That's not my water, that is my old coffee mug. I guess maybe if you save while you're flying, it'll just return you back to your previous um, launch pad, something like that. Who really knows? It's possible that even like Chris Roberts doesn't know if he obviously has like tons of ideas. This ship is slow. The literal slowest. Looks like there's a fight going on here, so I'm just gonna try to do what I can to help out. Oh, or maybe I shouldn't, because this is my only ship, so I'm gonna have to wait for it to... ...be you. Uh, the insurance thing. Although, how hilarious would it be if I did successfully... Oops. Yeah, maybe I'll just explode. Okay, you know what? Let's go inside for a minute. Oops. Why can't I accelerate past 45 by then? Precision flight mode. Maybe that's why I was traveling so slow. I was stuck in precision flight mode. Oop, 10 seconds to get out. Will I make it? Will I make it? See, it takes longer to get out of your chair than it takes for the entire self-destruct sequence to happen in an Aurora. Alright, let's get into our um, electronic access and do some racing before it's time for us to take off in the morning. Decided that I was going to rent uh, M50 to race in, and I have not done that yet, except for like twice on Tuesday. Yeah, maybe a few more races than that. I 
Oh, that's what they've actually been saying up till now? Okay. Well, looking forward to when everything like that is implemented and that's something that's a little bit more uh, in. <laughs> implemented, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. But it's one that I already said, so... Oh, well. And let's hope that we actually get in against someone in this race. Because I tried to race at the beginning of the stream and nobody showed up. It was just me for like three minutes. And then I quit. And it's possible that this is going to be a repeat, repeat performance of our previous attempt to race. There is nobody here. Absolutely not. A single other person. We'll give it like a minute. You can't race? As in, you have trouble racing? Or, like, it's hard to control it? Or for some reason you can't get into the racing? Game mode. Because I have a lot of trouble controlling my ships, especially in the first race of the day. I seem to always forget how much a uh, ship drifts. But I really do enjoy it. I find it to be a lot of fun. Oh, come on, I just won. Even if it was just a practice race, I would not be against that. Ah, yes. Every so often I actually manage to finish the race now. Uh, I've come in first once. I'm very proud of myself. And it was against real people. Like, there were actually people there that were racing and they also finished the race. I've tried racing in my Aurora a few times. That's a mistake. Never do that. Any other ship is better. <laughs> I bet the Argo would be better. Not because it's more maneuverable, but because it's a bit slower, I think. Um, and that just means, hey, there's two people. Dakeness. I wonder if that guy was trying to enter darkness and made a typo in his name. All right. We're ready to go. Let's get this show on the road. Am I right? Um, yeah, one problem with these uh, more sporty ships that I have is that whenever you uh, use your thrusters in atmospheric flight, it seems... Oh, shoot. There we go. It seems like it kind of pushes you upwards. Oh shoot, yeah, see? I don't know why I did that. So you kind of like move upwards on your z-axis while it thrusts you forwards. So you need to aim at the bottom of the rings when you're thrusting. See if that thrusts me straight forward. That was pretty close. I forget what my calm staff and G save settings are supposed to be. There you go. I think maybe it's supposed to be the opposite of what it is right now. Yeah, that's that makes more sense. Cause com com stab, uh, com stab uh, will slow you down as you're turning, but it also gives you more control. I'm impressed with myself. I've only exploded once.
the other player left. Oh shoot. Yeah, see? Every so often, it's kind of like, hey, let's crash into this ring for no apparent reason. And here is the end of, well, almost the end of lap two. Oh shoot. Oh, let's explode. Because why not? Racing in uh, Kaku. I haven't actually flown one. I, I haven't flown any of the. Um, Bando ships? I would like to. I'm having a lot of trouble controlling the ships. Actually, a lot of trouble, apparently. Extra amounts of trouble. Let's just make it through here. There we go. The Xeon, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I haven't flown any of the Xeon ships either. I'd like to try them. I heard a rumor, but I haven't been able to actually find any evidence that it's an actual planned ship, but I think, I can't remember if it was a Vandal ship or a Xeon that uh, is like a space train. So you're gonna have um, all of these different cargo containers behind you that'll follow you like a train has the cargo containers behind it. And I desperately want that ship. That sounds like it's going to be awesome. I was planning on getting the Merchantman and that whole E probably. Now well, let's do a little bit of a flourish at the end here. And it's good. Cool. Best lap! Woo! That was, that was me. I'm the winner of all one players. But that's 750 free REC and I am absolutely okay with that. And they even set off some fireworks for me. And I didn't even black out once. Yeah, let's see if we can get some more racers to go against. Yeah, it sounds so cool, because I imagine like a giant space snake. <laughs> Just like all these different cars traveling. Uh, it would be so cool if they follow like exactly the same path and there's no sort of like... You know how... Like if you take a rope and it's a curve like that and you pull straight, it all flattens out and then moves forward. I hope that it's more like... I mean, it, it's more directed, so all of the cars actually follow in that path, so everything goes like that. That would be pretty cool. You could make some cool, intricate designs like that. Alright, we are racing against Dagnus again. Dagnus? Um, how many other players are we going to get? Probably zero. Oh, two out of three? Who's the other player? We also have Conway. Yeah, more like a snake. That's that's the word I was trying to look for. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to hear it. I can't. I don't know what a snake is. It's fine. And we're up. Oh shoot! This is not a great way for my camera to be operating right now. Oh, that's a terrible way for my camera to be operating. What? I hate this bug. I mean, we made it through with that. Where are we going? Come on, guys. I can't even... Oh, shit. Oh, that is so upsetting. Had a good start to that race, too. This is a bug that I really wanted to get repaired. Fixed. Let's try third person. Don't know how well this is going to go, but... Better than dealing with a... Uh, corpse floating in my face. 
so this is working not all that badly. Nope. Eh, pretty badly. And I'm stuck. Let's explode, please. Come on. Explosions. Come on. Explosion? Can we have that explosion, please? There we go. And we no longer have a corpse floating in our face. So we are happy people. See, it, it lifts you up as you boost, but not all the time, only, like, I was having a problem with this yesterday. Oops. See, and sometimes it's helpful, sometimes it's very not helpful. I would love it if this guy exploded again so that I had a chance to catch up. Who knows, maybe you will. So since I'm behind, I'm not going to turn my um, G safe off and come stab on. Because I don't want to slow down on the turns because I have to catch up. But if I was in the lead, I'd be more likely to turn it off. Because... Oh, it, is he already done? Oops. That was just me being done. Yeah, he's already done. Why did he lap me? Yeah, what if they what if you're hauling 20 cargo containers and they destroy the second one and then come along with their own uh, train ship and pick up the rest of it and fly off. That would be super unfortunate. I'm going to get better with the M50. I feel like I'm losing a lot of time just on my maneuvers. I guess that that's a ship that you would need to, I mean, with any cargo ship, just make sure that you definitely hire or go out with your organization um, to make sure that you have some sort of fighters along with you so that you can be protected from people trying to destroy your cargo and steal the rest of it. explode before. Alright, well, let's try third person again. Because that worked so well last time. I guess it did kind of work well last time. Went through a reasonable amount of the... It's just upsetting that... Why is his hands hanging out of the window? Stop. Very not happy with that. So, third person it is. See, my goal whenever I'm doing these races, more so than to win, because, uh, I mean, I'm probably not going to win 90% of these races anyway, because there's people who have been doing this for years. <laughs> um, is that Merlin? I think that's Merlin. Uh, no, I don't have an organization right now. Uh, I'm trying to decide which one to join. I think I might go in for Explore. 
uh, the, the giant one right now. Uh, I might just join that as a thing to do. Um, but I've been considering forming a small one. But right now I don't really have time to do that. So I'm going to wait until it gets closer to full release. Yeah, that is 100% of Merlin. I'd like to see how they handle. I haven't flown one. Alright, everybody, let's, let's ready up, please. Ooh, big swagger. Yeah, I haven't taken the time to go through and look up just a bunch of... Oh, this is at the beginning of the match. Yes, it is. See, and then sometimes you get stuck behind someone in that hallway who is not ready to start. Oh, God. This is so difficult to handle in third person. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Explosions. Nice. Backwards. Looking forwards. Always looking forwards. And upwards. And round and round forever. Don't forget that quote. Oh shoot. No! Did I fly past it? Rather past it, yes. We're still in second though. That's a it's not terrible for not being able to see. Yeah. Super challenging bit. Oh, why is my landing gear up? Ooh, that was close. Oh, man. Come on. It's like it sneaks up on you. You have this false sense of security that there's no corpse floating around in your cockpit, and then you take a turn, and it's like, oop, I'm just gonna sneak in here. How's it going? No. No, missed. And it's cool. Did that count me as getting it, though? No. I would like to get really good at flying in third person because that would be pretty impressive to be a good pilot in flying in third person. It's not that impressive to be a bad pilot doing it. <laughs> oh, yeah, see? I mean, unless you think that that's impressive, which you might. Well, uh, that was ridiculous. Going in the right direction, though. Almost! Already someone done. Oh, gosh. Uh, which orc are you a part of? Uh, if any. Have you decided on yours yet? Not that you can only decide on one, I guess. Alright, let's. Yeah, there's already someone done. Let's just try to finish the second lap before. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Uh, the Alliance. Can't remember what that's called, or what that stands for. 
Good god, that guy got 1300 REC to it. Here we go, that. look at those acrobatics. Look at these pilots are doing. Oh, we were racing against an Aurora. Tactical advance, cool. I'm gonna have to go in and just like start surfing through them one day. Yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. I have the day off and some extra time that I have nothing to do with. So we might have time for two more races before it is time to take off and get ready to do the rest of the day. So hopefully we'll have one of those two at least be able to be flowing in first person view. Or maybe I should just always fly in third person. Because that would not be ridiculous at all. Actually, you know what? There's time for one more race. So, hopefully this one will finish. <laughs> I would say, oh, well, we're going to keep going until I finish a race, but that could be all day. I was looking at test. Um, I don't really like the style of uh, organization that they are. Um, they just seem kind of like, I don't know, just not my style. Imperium, I haven't looked at yet, so I'll take a look at that one. Another one that I was looking at. I was thinking about joining, but I can't remember what it is. Atlas Defense Industries? What's wrong with that one? Or rather, why don't you like that one? I guess is a better way to phrase that question. a group that you're into. Oh, really? That's insane. We're an alliance of an... Oh, what? Why? My landing gear popped out. And precision flight mode. Um... Yeah, we're playing an alpha game, but don't ask any questions. That's ridiculous. Uh, whether they're it's questions about the game or questions about the alliance, it's not a great way to run a group of people. so much better if I could fly in first person here. Ooh, that was very close. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, I was in first. Oh, I got cocky. There we go. That does mean. Oh shoot! What? Oh man! Landed here. Is sliding in and out. There we go. I think that that's what I want. No, no, that's not what I want at all. Oh, and when you're new to the game? Yeah, that's that's really crummy. Oh, I didn't draw me to third. First and second, it'd be cool if you exploded. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to live your lives, but I will tell you how to end them. It's in an explosion against a building. Or some other structure on this path. 
Also, who are the people who live in these houses who decided, yeah, let's buy a house along the racetrack, because uh, those pilots are good enough. They're not going to be exploding into our living room every 20 minutes. Because these look like residential uh, locations. Oh, come on, what? Are you kidding me? As long as I make it through, man. As long as I make it through, I'm happy. Says a person who clearly isn't gonna make it through. There we go. That was a better trip through. Oh, and I'm in second. Well, I hope I hold this position. I guess that one of the leaders did what the wrong checkpoint. Let's check one up. Did I miss this one all the way back here? What? Which one? Which one? Which one did I miss? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, this is by the airport. What? I went through the... I said I didn't go through the finish line? Of course I went through the finish line. Alright, anyway. Uh, I think that's going to be my last race for uh, this afternoon, or this morning, rather, because I do have a couple of things to do before I go out this afternoon. Um, I'm hoping to have a very quick stream this evening from around 6 o'clock, or, yeah, around 6 o'clock uh, PST through until 7.15, 7.40, 30, hopefully. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you soon, and... Uh, See you next time. Thank you. Have a good one.